resources. You can't cast it until it's recharged. And they'll recharge you to turn to zero. What they don't say is they'll also recharge whenever you move to another level. So, um... Is this the one where all your monsters heal at the end of every battle? Yes. I was gonna say, I thought that was a trait of the zero limbs. It is. Let's start recruiting a spell gem. Alright. What, what spell gem must I make? Oh, we can choose. Well, we're only offering chaos type gems, which can be used by our Asura, who really wants to just hit things. I want to give him a red, because that's an intelligence damage. Affliction. Every enemy gets a random debuff. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Yeah, debuffs are, on average, more useful than buffs. Because they can affect multiple people. Duh. Buffs can affect multiple things too. Now we equip it. That wasn't always true in Dragon Quest. In Dragon Quest, there are a lot of buffs that only affect people. Yeah, but they're strong, usually stronger versions of them. I mean, be Dragon won't, but. I feel it's more of an attack that's pretending to be a buff. And it can only affect one particular creature at all. You can upgrade your gems and insert, like, upgrade them to have neat traits too, but they're just not as wild as mm -hmm. equipment. And we can find new gems, which is good because I was hoping that we wouldn't just win the three chaos spells the whole game. That particular line, it's you weird mean? that I find it so funny because I actually hate that section of the show. Of the video. Oh, yeah, toilet humor? Yeah. I get it. I just do like it. the way he says, you, you knew? knew? It sounds like it's one word. You knew? At you? Two creatures are proper, properly equipped with artifacts. Actually, only one of them is. And spell gems. Actually, only one of them is now. Very good. You're not ready to venture outside these castle walls and earn the favor of the gods. I see gay should rest for the remainder of the day. Demouse and Hebron should return from their journey early tomorrow morning. You need to speak with them before you depart. Do, 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 do. Busy day of learning extremely basic things. You head off to bed. <laughs> do, 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 do. You fall asleep. You have a startling dream about falling down the castle stairs and awaking with a jolt before falling back asleep once more. Is it random what it says here? No. Wait up for a brief moment to flip your pillow upside down. It's nice and cool now. You should wake up. Demouse and Hebron have returned. So there's just meaningless flavor text. Well, that's what I mean. Does it give the yeah. same flavor text? I think time? so, yeah. Well, you don't normally sleep, because your monsters are always healed anyway. Ah, Hebron and Demouse. It's good to see the two of you returning safely. What happened? Did you find the ultimate nether orb? No, but I see gay. Yes. As Calvin claimed, we found the ultimate nether orb in Nex. As planned, we tried to negotiate with Lucius to see if we could come to some understanding. And... We were met with staunch resistance. Lucius destroyed most of our army, all by himself. When Demouse and I finally cornered him, the gods intervened. We nearly lost our lives before we managed to escape. We that Lucius already holds influence over many of the gods. They are not, after all, normally prone to physical intervention with the affairs of humans. See, perhaps we should petition the gods and explain what is at stake for our world. Surely they will come to their senses and see our side of things. Perhaps they'll even aid in us obtaining the ultimate nether orb. It's a good plan, but it's not our only problem. Yeah, before we fled, Lucius vanished. He took the ultimate nether orb with him. You have no idea what, where he went, but it's safe to say he won't be returning to Nex anytime soon for fear of us launching a follow-up attack, even though he did just decimate our army by himself. Indeed. Then where do we go from here? Hebron and I will search for Lucius. In the meantime, Kishin, I believe you should move forward with our original plan to petition the gods and ask them for their help. We should first visit the Blood Grove. Apocrinox is the god of that realm. He is a master tracker. His expertise will prove invaluable in helping us find the ultimate nether orb. That is an excellent idea. Indeed. Kishin, make haste to the Blood Grove and see if you can sway Apocrinox to our side. We have set plan. Good luck, Kishin. Demouse and I will begin our search in other realms so we don't put all our eggs in one nest, so to speak. 
Very well, Kishin and Evans. Head to the North Park Castle and use a teleportation train to travel to the Blood Grove. Would you speak? Once you arrive, seek out Apocrinox's altar and commune with it to speak. Good luck. The gods are surprisingly friendly for gods in a video game. So they're not based on Greek god. No. Alright. Only one thing we can do with this, so let's go. Realm quest. Before you leave, before you support the another realm, you need to complete a realm quest. And our current realm quest is... Find Apocrynox's altar, which is... Two spaces to the north and one to the east. We did it. We approach the altar depicting the pocket, the god of the hunt. The altar is beautifully carved and it seems eerily realistic in its appearance. Get help, but desire to touch it. So you send your hand towards the altar, all but mesmerized by its beauty. Who goes there? He's purple. Some of them. His head is purple. It's, it's a hat. Oh, is he Cubone? Maybe. After taking a moment to recover from your Solomon, explain the current situation to Apocalypse. Go to another one. Yes, I heard it. Truth, I always thought it to be a myth. However, I'd be remiss to ignore the repeatable ruler of Sue. Very well, then. I'll aid in your quest to find the ultimate myth. First, I must ask a favor. Deep within the blood grove prowls a powerful beast called Kichi. She's a creature of the Eft race. Find her so that I might tame her and call her my own. She'll prove an invaluable asset when it comes to tracking down the ultimate nether. This for me, and I will attend your knights on their quest. Ichi doesn't seem to be anywhere nearby. Make your way to the teleportation shrine. I use it to travel to a different parts of blood. And the tutorial is so long. Yeah. It's a rule of tutorials. This game is weird, so. Makes oh we have perks. We can level up our us. And they're not telling us how to do it. Oh, no, they're not telling you which thing you have to pick yeah. for this level. Let's see. You can't afford for 100 points. Let's see, like 10 points. But your creature's critical attacks deal more damage. Your creatures deal more damage with attacks. I mean, you can't go wrong with that unless you're not attacked. Blazing Soul's not bad. Yeah, if we, it's all, it, we need to save up for that. Oh. Uh, when your creatures cause burning, their attack determines the potency of it instead of your intelligence. So basically, it's, it's stronger when you inflict burning on enemies. Oh, costs one kind of basic. We don't have anything that can inflict it. Creatures take one less damage. Oh, when they inflict burning. Yeah, yeah, I read that wrong. Also, you take, if you take one percent less damage for every percent of health they're missing, which means they have no health, they're invincible. They also die, so they're... I mean, that's a weird kind of defense. I don't know how to feel about it. Enemies cannot provoke. Provoking forces you to attack a certain one. I mean, that could be really useful in certain battles. Your creature's attacks cannot be dodged. The 100 point ones are all pretty nice, because they cost a yeah, That 10 levels of you not doing anything. Well, no, it's not levels. You just... It's 100 perk points. You get a certain number of perk points for completing realm quests. Uh, it's not as high as it. Your creatures attack twice in there, but to get one more time. That's. That sounds like kind of the best. But... Let's look for ones that don't require 100 points. Yeah, all you can for is do more critical damage, do more damage with attacks. When your creatures cast a spell. Part of their attack is used to determine its strength instead of intelligence. So that's more useful for strength-based guys who have spells. Yes. For if you max it out, which costs them points, it's all of their attack and none of their strengths. And none of their intelligence. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> when you reach attack, they have a chance to cast Flame Strike, which... It does give damage. And you cast it a number of times equal to your burning things. You still have no means of making things burn. So the other thing, though, is does that work on all of them or only ones that you choose to use? The perks? Yeah. It 
If it says your creatures, it means all of your creatures. So the one for the doing damage and strength, if you have int based ones, it's actually bad for them. Correct. What you saying, Akira? You can reset your perks in the castle at will at no cost whatsoever. Very generous. And when your creatures attack, they have a percentage chance to afflict the target with a random debuff. That would double your debuffings. Now I'm focused on making sure we spend every single point going up with a weird number. Yeah, so attack. Actually. Okay. So currently our perks aren't going to make anything really a big difference, but... Well, that's because it's early now. Yes. Hey, look, it's a bad thing. It's a lion. I mean, it's a lion scorpion. Look, funny face. What do you do? It goes again. When it attacks, it also deals damage to two other creatures. Well, that sounds useful them. for us. Silly them, they only have one. Oh, they do have two. It's punching. Oh no! He punched him. He died. All right. Due to the global bastard, there's um, been a meme going around of being vaccinated does not mean you can blank. Oh no. And AI weirdness took a whole bunch of them, such as being vaccinated does not mean you can start a theme park on an island populated with dinosaurs from the DNA found in prehistoric mosquitoes, so preoccupied with whether you could that you didn't stop to think whether you should. That's a bit much. That's in reference to Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. Yeah. Oh. Um, I don't so remember I... you being early, I think. Huh. So I collected a few of my favorites as examples for GPT-3 to add to. <laughs> Well, this is just gonna be stupid. I started with the largest model, Da Vinci, which has the highest chance of being able to catch on to the format. I have for you some of its, or I have for you a few of its PSAs. Being vaccinated does not mean you can hang out with bears and wolves and elk and eagles in their weird Southern California forest hell. If for some reason you do this type of thing, you definitely can't ride the raptors into battle or utilize their extremely keen eyesight. Not from that particular box. <laughs> what? Being vaccinated does not mean you have to rub vanilla cream all over your body and change your species. But it wouldn't be the worst idea if you're considering it. Is that how you change your species? With vanilla cream? Being vaccinated does not mean your child can ride on a bull made of solid gold to a rodeo into er, to rodeo into a castle full of bad guys. <laughs> Even if everyone else in St. Louis is doing it. What does it mean? Being vaccinated does not mean you can travel through time and multiple realities. Fortunately, you're still the same good-hearted grade schooler you were before you walked out of that basement with two items in your hand. One was the ability to restore the dragon to pulse, and the other was the recipe for the world's best green bean casserole. Wait, one more time? Those were the two items you carried. Being vaccinated does not mean you're okay with a man beleaguering you with song also known as singing. Being vaccinated does not mean you can use the incredibly powerful magic necklace to turn yourself into a football player so you can smuggle some footballs into football practice and football players can play football. Is that how football works? Oh god, ow, oh god, that hurts. Luigi chisel to the football. Thankfully, our enemies are- oh god, the nice people thought they were. Are they gonna die? Oh crap, it's all to unicorn. Oh, oh, revive it, right, got it, the thing you did. Thank you, Unicorn! Every time you do that thing. Uh, being vaccinated does not mean you can kidnap the Emperor of China, tear up some of your China-based robotic studies, <laughs> mix in some magic, and fly around on robotic falcons shooting grappling hook crossbows that feel, that reel in the scarf of a big greased wizard. This is a bad idea. 
These are too specific. Ouchie. Oof. Being vaccinated does not mean it's okay to have internal annihilation laser that covers <laughs> the entirety of your body in neon green, purple, mauve, red, blue, and yellow. What? Being vaccinated does not mean you race to finish a 12-hour event sporting teeth shaped like Swarovski crystals that need to be thrown into an empty room to stop Project Big Shot from bursting forward. That doesn't mean anything. Being vaccinated does not mean that you can get chicken soup. Well, okay, we can, but only when we can, especially fed by an armadillo. Being vaccinated does not mean you can burn down the Monastery of the Blessed Virgin, as depicted in a Blade Runner movie, by updating Popeye's classic Panini Mouse outfit. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> You know, his classic Houdini mouse outfit. <laughs> and holding a copy of classic collectible painting number one. Enjoy your free lunch. What? Being vaccinated does not mean you can get to travel and lock eyes with the star burnt surface of dead rock while standing at the rim of a deep canyon. It's almost hard to beat. Being vaccinated does not guarantee the mercy you seek all the time. Being vaccinated does not mean you can guess at exactly when the sky will fall. Being vaccinated does not mean you get to a face full of sparkly eyeshadow while dancing in the sunset while the stars look up at you with the same sense of existential importance as the stars seem to look up at a dark sweatband adorned with a mustache that's... These are what? A half hide complete with face of butterscotch that has pupils of billions of fat pink dots. Yes, that was boring. It's, I think it's long-windedness is working against it, kind of. Mm -hmm. It really straight across such small random. Yeah. But I, I assume so too where the samples fed to it. Because it's a virtual reality, you can be vaccinated and then moved into a dimension with a ludicrously overwhelming amount of magic and duffery, I'm afraid to say. This team has a peculiar soundtrack. Because it's a virtual reality, you can be vaccinated and then have billions of very loud hats screaming in the air. But that doesn't mean that you should. Because it's a virtual virtual reality, you can be vaccinated and then immediately resume sexy and spend the whole weekend <laughs> hanging out with your friend. All while a lime sensation, viciously what? supplied with an incredible surprise. A lime sensation? will marinate your brain in pink alcohol slash sparkling drinks. <laughs> Neat. Neat. No, I sense that Kichi is not here either. Continue your search in the deeper part of the blood. <laughs> What are you looking for? I'm just scrolling through the thing. Oh. Generating new Disney princesses. <laughs> How? Name, Snow White. Occupation, Princess of the Kingdom of Tabor. Dietary needs unknown. Powers and abilities, magic wand. Heightened sensation, emotion, physical strength, physical weakness. Animal friends, bats, squirrels, and birds. Can control them all at once. Animal friend. How is this being generated? In GPT. From what? 
their like name, Bolin, occupation, Bolin, because it completes the. Oh, like from wiki articles or something? In GPT-3. Got it. Um, animal friends, which are different than animal friends. Um, oh. these animal friends are flies, wolves, and rabbits. What? Paraphernalia. Magic wand, bear skin cloak, what? hair ribbon, fake shoes, <laughs> stolen chicken, dew flies. What? It's not? Okay. Name. Bambi. Occupation. What? Prince of the Forest. Oh. Okay. Paraphernalia. None. Okay. Likes his family. The greater good. Being outside. Being with his mother's friends. <laughs> Dislikes. Hunters. Uh, caning from his mother's friends. Deer flies. Man's interference in nature. That sounds moderately accurate. Yeah, that's what I was Oh, thinking. wait, let's see. Yeah, these are from the um, Name, Bell. Occupation, nobody. <laughs> Powers and abilities. Oh, no. None, save for her intellect and empathy, which is fairly accurate. Um, paraphernalia. Lantern created by her father, Maurice. Likes animals, reading, science, inve inventions, her father's inventions, <laughs> singing, medicine. I mean, nothing unreasonable. Dislikes Berman, Horn King, Rourke, McNabb, Dr. O'Malley, Gaston, The West Wing, <laughs> <laughs> Halloween, and those who celebrate it. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that from? TikTok the crocodile. <laughs> judging people. Well, I mean, so she did a lot, plenty of that though. Uh, name Nala. Occupation Queen of Pride Rock. Pride Rock. Princess in Exile. Former. Second in command and leader of life. Paraphernalia. Lullaby scepter. Her feet of new. <laughs> Thorn. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, this uh, likes singing, taking care of the bride lady. I'm gonna Dis say, I, I died. Dislikes hyenas, disorder, corruption, scar, feeling complacent, her hyena past. <laughs> <laughs> I lost. Da Vinci stuck with existing Disney characters, even at the highest creativity set. That's technically what I asked for, since the task was to add to the end of a list of Disney characters, but I wasn't, but it wasn't what I wanted. I wanted new characters. So I turned to the smallest GPT-3 model, Ada, hoping it would be confused enough to fail to come up with existing characters. It worked. Ada, temperature 1.0, which is the least creative, I believe, the least likely to do random things. Name, watercolor cookie, object represented characters ongoing relationship. Uh oh, this is too, it's, oh no. Pirates slash scientists. Occupation, princess of a village. Powers, <laughs> a large amount of ink in her fingers, ability to draw <laughs> lines with it. Vines, chicken. <laughs> Dislikes. Lots of bugs and anything with legs. <laughs> now this one sounds like a rejected version of Dumbo. Name, Rumpo. <laughs> um, occupation, soldier in the Lost Bay Mercenary Guild. Powers and abilities, master archery, master sword fighting, her devil Rumpo dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Dislikes, recklessness, <laughs> and extremely bad reputation. Private prayers and rabbits. Devil Rumpo Dagger. Mm -hmm. Name Banks Afloat. Occupation Pirate Chief in the Tonawanda Swamp. Personality Combative, Passionate. Impervious to cruelty and aversion to insanity. Does not believe in any of supernatural powers and believes in a new and dangerous age of men. 
Powers and abilities. Superhuman strength. Immunity to supernatural influences. That sounds very powerful. Um, flight with a ten-foot pole. <laughs> and built sturdy boat and canoe. Omnipresence. What? <laughs> They're everywhere. Taking on the form of anyone. Able to fly if called upon by renown, indestructible courage skill at coup of coup de gras. I don't think I'm that good. Supernatural invisibility, even though they're <laughs> immune to supernatural influences. Unlimited memory and recall. And super strength equivalent to that of a god. And replenishing drinks at a whim. And magic flutes. <laughs> Likes. Her wild and free lifestyle, hiking, canoeing, boating, food, seashells, her family, magic, pirates, the Bahamas, cookies. Dislikes. Being tied down to a chartered vessel to ensure justice for stealing her crewman's land. Her family's dangerous past, pirates, which is also on her likes list. <laughs> it depends on the pirate. I guess so. New Disney villains. Same idea, different uh, target. So I mean, with... I think we should. There's some other move on. With the oh, is there more tutorial? Oh well, no, it's like your input on what creatures we should. Oh, we okay. Got Apparently, these are our options. We got this thing here, which its ability is kind of worthless because well, I guess. Basically, if an enemy heals, they're afflicted with a status effect called Blighted, which reverses healing on them. So if they heal, they can't heal again. That doesn't seem that relevant. Yeah, that's several rounds. There's this guy, when he attacks, it does splash damage. Sounds decent. It's a bat. When an ally attacks, it does damage to that target also. So this is like a support attack, and there's a tree of this is passive regeneration for everyone. This guy prevents the enemies from getting from like, getting like both the attack combo things going on. I don't know if enemies are really doing that at this it's point. Like right. There's this guy. He deals more, the, the more his health surpasses his enemies, the more damage he does. That's not very specific. There's Kitty. Oh yeah, that one attacks everyone. No, it attacks two other targets for 40% damage, which is pretty good. I think so. And there is this guy who his attacks hurt a lot more and make them gives them blood, but his intelligence is much higher. And there's Dog who gives everyone dire wolves. What's that? I believe it. He really needs a way for you to just, like, poke that and check it, but from what I see, it means when someone with their wolves attacks, the wolves boost the attack. So basically, everyone's better at attacking. So, either the Terror Hound or the Pet Cat. Why not? Oh, can you have both? Oh, do you have space for both? Yes, we have four open spaces. Oh, you start with all six slots. Yes, you just don't have enough to fill them all, so... Uh, then yeah, we'll have both of those ones. Also, Shin likes me to yeah. It depends on how d dumb their faces are. Is that the lowest tier of Hellhound? They only have different tiers. It is just a type of Hound. Oh. Most Hounds mess with the Dire Wolves buff. It's just that this one grants it, which is useful for any attackers. So, yeah. We you don't have any more mono for them, so we can't summon any more unless you go and beat up some but we can have a team of all one monster tank. So, that one like, you said is really useful? He's, I mean, he's, I, is a, his trait and his stats don't match. His attack is, is, he really wants to be a caster, but his trait is just for helping him attack. So it does give it 75% more damage, which is not, and it causes bleeding, which is... And can't good. that ability be transferred onto if it's baby is better? Yes, they will also transfer, will also average the stats of both parties. 
Yeah, but if you average it with something that's much more attack based. Right. No, that 75% is going to become pretty big. Yeah. I don't well, know if that and the bat, I think, get the other two. I don't know if bleeding is a great debuff, but it is bad for the things that you give it to. And it still does the 75. And he also goes, ah. 